Good day, poopies. My name is Miss Damila Lassumboye. The subject I'll be taking now is English language. Having the topic contractions. But before I go fully into contractions, I'd like to explain briefly on our previous lesson. In our previous lesson, I explained simple present tense. And I hope you remember that I said simple present tense are her actions at the present moment. They are the actions that are performed at the present moment. Hope you get it. Today I'll go through the meaning of contractions and examples of contractions. What is contraction? A contraction is a shortened version of the written and spoken forms of a word, syllable, or word group created by omission of internal letters and sounds. I hope you get it. I take it again. A contraction is a shortened version of the written and spoken forms of a word, syllable, or word group created by omission of internal letters and sounds. In a simple term, you can say contraction is a short form of some words. That is a simple definition of contraction. Technically speaking, contractions aren't necessary in, in, in written English when you are writing. Using the full version of a word is always grammatically correct. Most times, it is used in a sentence to shorten the phrase and give it a less format tone. I hope you are following me. However, there are a number of reasons why contractions do serve a valuable stylistic purpose. Contraction make your writing seem friendly and accessible. And generally speaking, you should always avoid contraction in formal writings. That is, if you are writing a business letter, so you are writing easy writings, or you are writing a research letter, and so on, you should avoid the use of contraction. In other words, don't use contraction in any academic writings. Unless you are directly quoting someone, that means if you are writing to, if you are writing a formal test, don't use contraction. Unless you are writing to your friend, or you are quoting someone, I hope you understand. Now let's move to the examples of contractions. These are the examples of contraction. You must always note that the use of apostrophe helps to form a contraction and it is always formed when letters are omitted take note i said the use of apostrophe helps in forming a contraction and it is always formed with the omission of letters you omit some letters then you had an apostrophe that is how we form a contraction now look at the examples I have by the left side, I have uncontracted words, and by my right side, you can see it. This is contracted words. Now look at the first one, which says I am. The contracted word, we have the omission of he and the addition of an apostrophe. That is it. That is how contracted words are formed. Now look at the second one, we will not. Look at the contracted word, won't. There's omission of some letters with the addition of an apostrophe. Another one is I'm not. Why the contracted word is height. Another one is a. The contracted word is also pronounced a. But we have the omission of a with the addition of an apostrophe. And this I, this is another example. This is this a another example rather. We have a not, and the contracted word is aren't. We have the omission of ho with the, with the addition of an apostrophe. We have could not, the omission of ho with the addition of an apostrophe to form couldn't. I hope you are getting it. Now, this is another one. We have did not, and the contracted word is didn't. It has the omission of O with the addition of 
an apostrophe to form didet are you following me i hope you are getting it now we have another one here this is i have and the contracted word is also pronounced i have but with the omission of h a and the addition of an apostrophe and the last one i have here with me is we ha with the omission of a to form the contracted word a is omitted with an with the addition of an apostrophe so these are the few examples i'll be giving you for today's lesson so in a nutshell i've been saying contractions is the short forms of some words and you must take note that contractions are formed with the omission of some letters so you are going to be doing this for me you are going to write out 10 contractions you have come across you have a lot of contractions you have a lot of words in which you can contract it i hope you are getting it so you write out 10 in which you have come across yourself you write it out do you understand don't forget to like this video then don't forget to click on the bell icon to subscribe to this channel thank you